In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the most hated country in the world. A country filled with scammers, a country with widespread of corruption, a country where the lives of the poor do not matter like that of the rich. Have you ever wondered why is Nigeria receiving so much hatred from the rest of the world? Does Nigeria deserve the bad repetition? And with all this bad repetition, why is Nigeria still called the giant of Africa? And this is exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video. At the end of this video, we will know if Nigeria deserves all the hatred, all the bad repetition from the rest of the world. And we will understand why Nigeria is still called the giant of Africa despite all the hatred, all the bad repetition from the rest of the world. So make sure to stick with me to the very end of this video because at the end of this video, I'm going to change the way you have seen Nigeria your whole life. For started, Nigeria is not just called the giant of Africa for nothing. Nigeria is the most populous black nation on earth. Nigeria, a country with a population of over 250 million people, a single country with more than 250 ethnic groups speaking 500 distinct languages, or identified with a wide variety of cultures. Do you know that in the US, Nigeria are the most educated immigrant community? Type it into Google and you see 60% of Nigerians in the US have college degree. No wonder Nigeria has produced a lot of problem solvers in the world. I mean, who knows that the designer of the famous car Chevrolet wrote? Aliyu Jalani is a super talented Nigerian. Not just that, the world fastest computer was invented by a Nigerian. It was also a young Nigerian who invented the world's first ever solid fuel rocket because his dreams of building space satellite for Nigeria in the future. Do you know South Africa couldn't have ended apathy and achieved black rule if not for the leadership role Nigeria played? Of the three South African president who ruled after apathy, two of them also lived in Nigeria under asylum. Both Nancy Mandela in the 60s and Thabo Mbake in the 70s. Nigeria spent over $3 billion and lost hundreds of soldiers to end the war in both Liberia and Syria alone, which the world ignored because they don't have oil near that gold. Before there were street light in European cities, Asian Bini Kingdom had street light fueled by palm oil. Nigeria gave monetary gift to Ireland during oil boom and built a statue for France free of charge. We are not poor black, Nigeria is rich. I mean, who tell you that you are black? If I'm black, then what is this? Don't be deceived, this is black and this is white. By the way, even though my skin is different from other, that doesn't mean my brain is different. No, we all have same brain. Everybody is beautiful and handsome on their own way. It depends on how you define beauty and handsome yourself. God created everyone differently because a beautiful garden is made up of different flowers. The first television station in Africa was NTA Ibadan in 1960, long before Ireland has the RTE station. On the 7th of May 2016, at Howard University in Washington, D.C., history was made. Out of 96 graduate doctor of pharmacy candidate, 46 of them were Nigerians, and out of 27 awards given, 16 went to Nigerians. There are over 180 million Nigerians worldwide. Only about 25,000 of these figures have traceable criminal record. This is about 0.14% of Nigeria's entire national population, nothing close to 1%. Nigeria took care of Ebola with no help from other countries. The wettest black man and woman on earth are Nigerians, Aliko Dangote and Mrs. Folorunjo Alakija. Next is entertainment. Most of the biggest singers in the world hail from Nigeria. Lil Wayne, Dax, Bonner Boy, Whiskey, Davido, ETC. The second biggest film industry in the world is Nigerian Nollywood, even bigger than Hollywood. And yet, what we talk about is Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. What about economy? Nigeria is ranked at the 39 ninth largest economy in the world in terms of nominal GDP, making Nigeria to have the largest economy in Africa. Nigeria has retained its position as the largest oil producer in Africa, making Nigeria the 15th oil producer in the world with almost 2 million barrels of crude oil production every single day. What about military strength? Nigeria holds power index of 0 0.5587, making Nigeria the 36 strongest military forces in the world and fourth strongest military forces in Africa. What about food? Have you tasted the Nigeria jollof rice or the Nigeria pounded yam coupled with a goosey soup? Wow, the best food in the world. Yummy. Despite being over 1,000 dialects and ethnicities, Nigeria people still live in harmony, becoming one of the most tolerant and hospitable people in the world. Nigeria people are very lovely people, a very compassionate people. 
fun to be with. You enjoy unity and peace that hold all people together despite diversity in culture. This is what CNN, BBC or Al Jazeera will never tell you about the great country Nigeria. All these are many more for a single country and yet somehow people have less interest in them. The media will only show you the poverty, the corruption, how Nigerians are scammer but if only we focus on that it will prevent us from seeing the amazing thing about the great country Nigeria. I hope that all of us around the world will be able to see Nigeria and see the amazing positivity. Only then we can create the world and see the beauty of every nation. So tell me, does Nigeria deserve all the hatred and bad repetition from the rest of the world? Yes. No. Big Jonah, don't just go. Drop your answer at the comment section and I will love you forever. Yeah, you've come to the end of this video, but don't click up just yet. I put a lot of hard work to raise this important awareness. So I really appreciate your support by liking and subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching to the very end of this video. This is Big John Abu signing off. As per usual friend, hand to her. Salute.